I'm Jessica with um, Book Rock Goddess, and this is Jade Artistic Woodlush, and we are doing our October reads. It's everything to do with Halloween themed, like vampires, werewolves, zombies, people killing people, just everything you would think of for Halloween, like horror stories and all that other junk. And anything with a creepy cover. Well, yeah, that too. So, like I said, anything to scare your pants off with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm reading, um, the Hollow right now by Jessica Verde. I couldn't wait to start it, so I kind of cheated and threw it in my September reads. So when we start October, I'm going to be reading Haunted because I am totally obsessed with the Hollow right now. It's not even funny. So I'm gonna have to read this one and then go buy the third one, and then I just might not be able to stop. But so yeah, I just can't. That wait. book was awesome. The Hollow was awesome. I listened to it on audio. Um, she's against audio. And she considers it cheating. <laughs> cheater, but, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yes, but I love audiobooks. Um, I can listen to an audiobook while I do cleaning, uh, whatever, r running errands or whatever I'm doing. So, with that being said, the book is awesome. You guys should check it out. Um, and I will be reading the next book because it's not out in audio. But anyways, with that, I got A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkinson. Harkness? Harkness. And, um... How many pages you got in it? It's got 500 and something. 530. Um, I'm really excited to read this. I have it on audio, so I will be doing <laughs> audio. <laughs> <laughs> I will be doing audio and reading. So, when I can't read it and I'm out and about, I will be able to listen to it so I can keep up with it. So, that's going to be one of my first books. Okay. I got The House of Dead Maids. It's a prelude to, um, Wuthering Heights. And I'm really excited to read this. It's a really creepy looking freaking cover and I read the inside and I'm like ooh ghosts I love them so I can't wait to read this and it's really short it's only like 145 pages so I know I'll be done in like a day I like will have day. to read that one too after she's done only because I'm a big um, fan of Weathering Heights and it talks about Heathcliff and what happened to him I just he's him growing up yeah, so it kind of to what it kind of gives you an idea of what happened to him or the author's idea of what happened to him to make him the way he was so I'm excited about that so, then I got Miss Peregrine's Pecu A Home for Peculiar Children, and I'm really excited by, about this book. It's by Ransom Riggs, and I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. It's kind of creepy looking. Dude, show them the pictures on the inside. It is, like, really creepy looking, and I've seen a lot of cool reviews about it, and a lot of people are kind of creeped out by it. Well, but that's not a creepy looking I, picture. What the heck? I am, like excited. The pictures to me aren't all that creepy. Now, the pictures on the back are kind of creepy. Dude, that's but like freaking messed up right there. Them two girls that aren't facing. There's some, I seen some really scary looking crap in here, but of course can't find it at the moment, so sorry. Get your own copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say. It's really cool, and I like it, so I'm going to read that. This will be a definite read for the month of October. Okay, so I got my werewolf book. I got one of pretty much everything. This is Frenzy by... Francesca Leah Block. I love all her writing. I know a lot of people don't really like her stuff because they think she's a little too far-fetched or whatever, or they just don't get her, but I love every single book of hers I have so far, and I just, I love it, so I can't wait to read that. Yeah, she's got some peculiar, she's hit and miss for me, but she's alright. I like her, um, some of her stuff at least. Um, my next book is Wolfbane. I love Nightshade. Um, it's by Andrew Kramer, and, okay, I do like the co cover. I did like Nightshade's cover better, but I still like this cover too. Um, well, I like the first cover for it that they had with yeah, the leaves and everything. Yeah, I just thought it was prettier. Yeah, it was gorgeous, but you know, but then again, I got a tree problem, so I guess that doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, that so. Does it. But um, I'm really excited, and this is my werewolf book. I might have other werewolf books, but this is one of the first ones I'll be reading. I have a supernatural witch so far. Okay, so I read the first Meg Cabot's Mediator book. And I loved it. It was Reunion, I think it was. And this one is The Ninth Key. Oh, I, I love got one through six. These are the, uh, to be totally honest, I don't really like Meg Cabot all that much. But this I series, love her. I actually really like. I'm like glued to this series. I know this is the second one, but I love the first one so much. And I started it a while back. But I know where I left off, so I can just pick right back up. I actually have oh. Abandoned. And I may read that for Halloween just because of the cover and stuff. But Isn't that about Persephone? It's about Persephone. That one so I'll Hades read. is a you know with Hades and stuff like that. that so read, I may I read that one um, for the month. And I have I also have a book um, 
to buy NetGalley that I have to read before the 4th of October, and it's The Sleepwalkers by J. Gabriel Gates. So that actually will be the first one I read. But um, it's supposed to be really, really good. So you can go ahead and do one because I've already mentioned All right. two. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. Um, and then my book, a Beautiful, well, no, Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton. I'm sorry, the, the cover is just cool. The date is awesome. Yeah. Is that a tree? Oh my gosh, it's a tree. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tree on the back. It's like you can see it. It's like weird. Dude, but it's, it's a tree. It is a tree. But uh, so I'm really excited to read that one. And um, she's obsessed with trees, so. Just a um, little bit. Just a little. You should see all my artwork. Every single piece of it. I don't care what it is. I throw a tree in there somewhere. Yeah, there's a tree. <laughs> just about everything. Well, no, not everything, but almost everything. No, there is. There's, there's, there's a couple pieces. Tiny. Yeah, but there's a couple pieces that I have that don't have trees in them. Well, that's because yours was made for Twilight, and who gives a shit about that? Like, no, I've got your etchings. You know what you did the uh, oh for the, the wall. School, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I got my soul to take by Rachel Vincent. Um, I, a lot of people have bought this already. I had, it took me forever to buy it. I literally just bought it, like, three weeks ago. I'm two, not two really all that ago. into that, but I but, might give it a try if she likes it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna read it. Um, a lot of people say it's really good. I think, who was it? It was, um... Story, Christy the Story, Story Siren, Siren just really finished good. up the series, I think. Yeah, so, and I really like the covers, so I might just get it just for that collection on its own, even if I don't like the book. <laughs> the covers are excited. cool. The covers are cool. I like the fifth book. I'm going to go from one to five, like, on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've been coveting this book for a while. I've seen it. I like um, um, Allison um, Van D Dypen, and it's The Vampire Stalker. And the premise of the book sounds awesome. It's supposed to be about a girl reading a book and the character comes to life or something like that. And it just sounds cool. Who wouldn't want it, one of their characters to come to life? You know, especially if they're hot. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'll it's finish. like Ink Heart and Queen of the Damned put together. Okay. Oh, yeah. If that, if it, That's if what it, it sounds like. Yeah, it me. does. It does. It sounds really cool. Because she's stalking so. her and if you... If you yeah. yeah. And okay. her book Raven was amazing. So. Watch both movies and you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. Yes, you'll like it. Okay. So, I've got The Devouring by Simon Holt. Um, I've got the other two downstairs. I'm going to read this, and then if I have time at all, I might just eject some of these other books and just throw the other two in if I really, really like it. But I can't wait for this. Uh, it's about, like, demons and souls and stuff like that. They take your souls or whatever. But I can't wait to get it. Okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> this is also in one of the first ones I'll be reading this month because I just think it looks creepy. It's called Enclave, Enclave. And the back is like a hand, if you guys can see it. I don't it's know how the claw. Can it. The hand is coming up out of the sewage drain or something like that. It's just or It looks like a bunch know, of cogs. I but don't know, no, but it, it is dripping blood. It just it looks really cool. And I'm really excited. But that I bet you it's a werewolf. Have you, you know, um, I, can, I don't know. know. It just it just says it's for fans of The Hunger Game, which is a pet peeve of mine. Because, I'm sorry, unless this book is... Okay, we had a discussion about game, that already. We can move on Unless now. it's got <laughs> the character, you know, the same type of setting and stuff like The Hunger Games, you really shouldn't be comparing a book to The Hunger Games, but whatever. We covered that. We crossed that bridge. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I'm so okay. happy. Take a breath. In and out, okay? This <laughs> one tells you to. It's a peeve of mine. I got Ruined by Paula Morris. Um, It's really shiny because we got this from the library because apparently somehow it was damaged, but I have yet to find it. But I can't wait to read this. I kind of wanted it in paperback, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to have it. So I'm excited. Yes, it looks really good. Um, then I bought, and I'm going to read, The Demon Trapper's Daughter. I've heard really good things about it, and I'm excited to read it. And uh, the cover's cool, except i got a sticker over the girl's body. So, And it's by Jenna Oliver. So, and I know a lot of people have reviewed it and said it was cool, so I'm going to give it that one a try. I've got Deception by Lee Nichols. Look how pretty that is. There's a little ghost thing coming out of there. Yeah. It says, if you love supernatural scares, family secrets, and forbidden love, you're going to love Deception. I love ghost stories. I can't wait. And if it's good, I'm going to buy Betrayal. I know I sound retarded, and I know I'm acting retarded, but I'm really sick, so... We're just going to move on. In the head. No. <laughs> well, seriously. Okay. <laughs> I've got Personal Demons. Um, and it has, by Lisa DeRoche. DeRoche's? Lisa uh, D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks really cool. You know, I, I'm assuming this is a demon, and then here's an angel. So it's looking pretty cool. And I don't care if both guys are hot. So, hey. 
<laughs> it's gotta be good. Uh, okay. That fact alone. Here is my witch book. The Secret Circle. I've got book one and two in here. It's not that thick. Um, it's by L.J. Smith. I know this show just came out, and I am literally just going to record them all until I finish this book, because I want to read it first before I see the series, because I have a tendency not to want to read the series after I've seen the show. So the same thing happened with Vampire Diaries. So I'm refusing to do that this time. Mm, I think the show's better than the books for Vampire Diaries, but that's just my personal take on it. Um, I am going to read Rachel Hawkins' books, um, Demon Glass. And, oh, wait a minute, this isn't the first one. I'm, I gotta read Hex Hall first, I'm sorry. I'm showing you Demon Glass. I gotta read Hex Hall. That's the first one, so I gotta read that first. Before that's I read that over one. there. Yeah, I got them mixed up. That's all right. I'm going to read Hex Hall. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, and now here's my zombie book. I got Generation Dead. I know a lot of people have probably already read this. It's been out since, like, forever and ever and ever ago. But I was never really into the zombie whole situation. But I figured one day I would be. So today is that one day. <laughs> so that's going to be right. Oh, it's yeah. by Daniel Walters. Yeah. I'm not okay, a we've got, I think person. we have them all. Probably I think not. we have the whole series, and neither yes, one of us has read it, and I've had them forever, but I've always... She almost them. went to give them away, because she no. said she wasn't going to read them. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they were zombies. I thought... I liked the covers, and then I thought, oh, I'm not going to read zombie books, but I read Carrie Jones... Carrie Ryan's books and loved them, so I'm willing to give those a try. Then I bought Dead Beautiful by um, Yvonne Wood, Woon, and I really, really like this cover, so I'm going to give this book a try. I heard it was pretty good, so... Why not? And it's got dead. I don't know what the book's about, but it looks good. So okay, I got Kim Harrison's Once Dead, Twice, Twice, Twice Shy. Um, I read that. Mom, That's good. Yeah, my mom bought all the Kim Harrison Witch series for me, and she read them. And I, I know I them, love Kim Harrison. And Witch. I haven't read them, but I really oh. wanted to, and I really wanted them, but I never touched them, which is sad. So if I really like this. Then bring on my her, books. <laughs> her adult series is amazing. Well, when I got yeah, it, I was I younger, it. and I was like, that thing mm -hmm. is thick. <laughs> well, I'm glad she didn't read. Well, the first books aren't bad, but um, later on in her series, I'm glad I didn't. she didn't read them, because I didn't realize that they were, um, oh, they well, would get racier yeah. as a ghost. <laughs> but Life it's gets racy as a ghost, so let's okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also got Dark Mirror by M.J. Putney, and the cover is awesome. And I've heard really, really good things about this. So, and it's kind of a Victorian era type of thing. So I'm excited to read that too. Okay, I've got Slice of Cherry by Dia Reeves. I can't wait to read this. I read the first chapter and it just jumps right into it. I swear, it's the Bone Saw K Killer's um, daughters, and they murder people too. Except, oh, oh, let me let me get this straight. They murder bad people. The people who deserve to be killed. That yeah. they made that a point, okay? But, um, and I can't wait to read this. It's a really, really thick book. But so is our other one, Bleeding Violet, and I read, read that too. So I can't wait to read this. I, I want to own this book. This is a library book. I want it. <laughs> okay, these are all books we're going to read. And then I've got a couple other ones I'm going to try to fit in. Witch, Witches of East End by Melissa De La Cruz. And I'm kind of excited about her new novel. And I'm going to try to give that Why one a try, too. What's other one? Which like, one? It's not the ones that I look like for now. Oh, they're Chicklet. I don't want to read Chicklet. I love like chiclet? her. I know. I like... One. Uh, it depends. And I'm, I I might give it a try, but right now I'm not really into Chicklet. I will read occasional Chicklet if I recommended right. it really well. I'm going to try and fit in Rotten Row in the other zombie book, because I said in the other one that I was going to hold it till Halloween. Um, But I noticed Generation Dead and was like, we've had this for years and I need to read it. But... I kind of want to read this one, too, so I'm going to try and fit this one in. It's by Jonathan Mayberry, so, and if it's good, Dustin McKay's out already, so. And Mom's got this in hardcover, as you saw, yeah. if you've watched the other video. Yeah, you know. I had to have it. And then I'm going to try to fit in The Demon's Lexicon. Um, I've started this book before, and I must have misplaced it, and I found it again, so I probably was a few chapters in. And can't remember it, so I'm going to start it over and see if it fits. So. Oh my gosh, we're on the 15th All right. Yes, we, we gotta are. Go. We yes. gotta go. Come All on. Right. Come on. All right. But that's, <laughs> I mean, those are our hopeful reads for October. And then we are going to try to, um, we're going to do a recap at the end of the month. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And talk to you later. Well, we Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.